Greetings. This morning, thank you for tuning in to Notes for the Morning. Our text today is coming out of Psalm 27. As you know, if you've been listening to the morning devotions, we've been for some time in Psalm 27, verse 4, 5, and 6. Today, we are ready to add to the devotions that we've been giving concerning David's desire to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of his life. And David said he wanted to do that, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to be able to inquire in his temple. And so thus far, we've seen that in time of trouble, David said he would be hidden in the pavilion of God, in that secret of his tabernacle. David said, he shall hide me. He said also, he shall sit me upon a rock. And now in verse six, David says, and now shall my head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. And I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. And so today we want to talk about sacrifices of joy. When God lifted up David and set him on a rock, and when God delivered David time and time again from his enemies, what issued from him was a sacrifice of praise. He did sing praises unto the Lord. When I did a little investigation there of the last part of verse 6, when it says that I will offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy, that Hebrew word indicates a shouting. And so on the basis of deliverance, David said he would give the sacrifice of praise for his deliverance, and it would be shouts of joy. Shouts of joy. Thank God that we can praise him over and over again for what he does for us. Psalm 147 and 1 says, Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our God, for it is pleasant and praise is comely. And you can look up the many references of thanksgiving in the book of Psalms and in the Bible, but let's turn to the book of Hebrews, and let's go to chapter 13. And in the book of Hebrews chapter 13, there is a special set of verses that will speak to what we're saying this morning. I want to read verse 10. We have an altar whereof they have no right to eat, which serve the tabernacle. For the bodies of those beasts whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest for a sin are burned without the count. Wherefore Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered without the gate. Let us go forth, therefore, unto him without the count, bearing his reproach. For here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. So what was happening here is that Paul was bringing to light that Jesus was the answer of the Old Testament, all the types and all the shadows. He was speaking of coming out of the old covenant into the new covenant. But notice verse 15. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. And so on the basis of the uh, blood atonement of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the indwelling spirit of truth that gives us the perception and the knowledge, the understanding that we are delivered from the curse of the law and its condemnation in the blood atonement of Jesus Christ. And so we're not talking about uh, speaking a, a praise other than talking about the praise, uh, uh, a spiritual praise issuing from our heart. 
a sacrifice of praise to God. He said, that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Now we talk about thanks to his name. We're, we're praising God for who he is. We're praising God that we are able to see the beauty of the Lord, that we're able to see his divine perfections. We're able to see the glory of God. We can see his love, his mercy, and his grace, his holiness, his righteousness, his wisdom, his power. God is our creator. God is our controller. And God is our consummator. Oh, yes, he is our sacrifice for our sin debt. He is our substitute. He took our place, and he is then our Savior. So there is a deliverance in the name of Jesus. There is no other name under heaven whereby men must be saved. There is a gratitude. There is a thankfulness in our heart. There is a speaking with our heart and our tongue. And actually, I think we are talking about the body of Christ together, holding up holy hands without wrath and without doubting, praising God. Let's notice if we can Psalm 100 this morning. Psalm 100 verse 1 through 5. A psalm of praise. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. I want to read you one more. In Ephesians 5 and 19, Paul wrote, Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is a natural reaction to those who understand that their deliverance is in Christ. They've been delivered from the curse of the law and its condemnation. They've been delivered from the power of the devil. The devil was destroyed on Calvary's tree. If you read Hebrews 2.14, he who had the power of death has been destroyed. Our victory is secure in the Lamb of God. And so when we dwell in the house of God, when we dwell where God is, when we inquire our questions, when we look for our help, when we have a time of need and we go to God and we prostrate ourselves out before God, we become transparent. Search me, O God, know my heart. Know me, O oh God, try my thoughts and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me to the way of everlasting. We can thank God that we have an inner witness in us, in us, the believers, that we are a son of God. We have been indwelt by the spirit of truth. We have been delivered. And so no matter what comes our way today, no matter what the enemy tries on us today, our inward part is full of joy and our lips are speaking the praise unto God. My prayer today is that God will lift your burden, that you will not murmur and complain, but you will give thanks to and for his name because in him we have deliverance. Father, I thank you today. I thank you, God. I praise you, God, that you are my deliverer. And God is past, present, and future. God, you have paid my sin debt. I have been set free. 
there where the spirit of God is, you said there is liberty. Father, the truth has made me free. It has lifted my burden, God. Now I know that I'm walking in the victory of the Lamb of God. And no matter what my flesh torments with me today, no matter what the enemy brings in my way, I dwell in the house of the Lord. I can see the beauty of the Lord. I have the ability by Christ through the Spirit of God to inquire in the pillar and ground of truth. And there in times of trouble, you hide me in the secret place, in the secret of your presence. And there you have set me up on a rock. And there, God, you have lifted my head above my enemies. And there, Lord, now I can issue praises unto thee. Thank you, God. Praise you, God. Encourage the believers today, those that are listening this morning and those that have been listening. I pray that the study of Psalm 27 has instilled in them a desire for you above all things to exalt you, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.